Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Rick Shades. Hope you're all doing well. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be using today and I'm gonna start off with the razor. <clears throat> I got this uh, really inexpensive uh, cheap razor I found on um, Amazon. The Facon, Facon, uh, I'm not sure how you say it, but um, it uh, <clears throat> it's like a, uh, uh, a Tommy style razor, kind of similar to the um, the feather style or Japanese style shaving razor, uh, more kind of like geared towards like barbers, I guess, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, ten bucks. I I bought it on Amazon, so I want to see how it's gonna perform. Uh, it came with this little pamphlet here, which actually shows you in there. I don't know if y'all can see that really that clear. You may want to pause it and check that out. But it actually shows you how to load the razor in there. I'm actually going to load it here in front of you. I just, you know, I might not be able to show you on camera because it's going to take some. It, it is a little awkward to kind of load it. But, um... I will uh, kind of uh, just explain what I'm doing. It also came with a hundred single edge uh, blades. So here I have one right here. These are the uh, their brand, the the Facon or Facon, uh, however you say it. <laughs> probably miss, probably butchering it. Uh, let's go ahead and load this up, and I'll show you what else I'm using for the rest of the shave. So. Uh, essentially it has some some uh, jimping right here you just uh, push that forward and it comes off kind of like two little posts right there that go into slide back in and locks in so you take your razor and be extremely careful as usual And uh, the razor just sits, let me see here if I can show this without dropping it or cutting myself. So essentially it's going to sit right in this area uh, right here. Uh, just lay, lays down right in that area. And of course I drop it into my water. <laughs> and we'll see if I can even get it now. Okay, I got it. Again, gotta be careful with it. It's a little easier to do it yourself than just trying to show it. So there I got it on there. As you can see, I'm gonna try and angle as much as I can. And then just slide this back on to it. It's a little awkward. Yeah, this is a little awkward to do, guys. Um, I guess I could have uh, just... Uh, I could have just pinched the back and tried to drop it in, but um, that's not how it says it's supposed to be loaded. So the problem I'm having... There it is. Okay. I got it in there. It was, did take uh, some finagling, but um, I was able to get it. I've never, well, I've shaved with these uh, shavette style razors a handful of times. I never used this style before, so we'll see how it goes. This is a first for me on, uh, you know, here on the channel, especially, and even in shaving. So I have no idea how it's going to go. I don't know how long it's going to take me, you know, but uh, we'll, we'll see how, <laughs> how it works out. I'm going to use this uh, Phoenix CAD. This is an older brand or... Uh, I think it's a, actually an older formula too, but um, still works just uh, just as good. 
uh, as you can see in there. It does have a nice kind of, I guess I would say barbershop scent to it. I know they have a few kind of variations of barbershop, but this kind of more of a classic style, I would say. I might use some pre-shave oil. I've never used this on the channel either before, uh, but because I want as much protection as possible uh, for this shave, um, because I'm not sure how my beard's going to react to this kind of shaving. Um, I'm going to use some pre-shave oil here. This is a Shea Moisture Shave. I don't even know if this is still available, but if it is, I'll try and link it. The uh, brush, I'm going to use this Razor Rock here. Beautiful Razor Rock brush. Synthetic, obviously. And the aftershave, I'm going to use this fine American blend because it more or less matches the soap. So it's definitely a barbershop scent, and this is kind of a barbershop scent. So, uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the shave and uh, see how this is going to work. Let me get some of this pre-shave here. Just need a little bit to... doesn't really have a pleasant smell. Feels just kind of oily on my skin and it's kind of what a pre-shave I'm guessing should be. I really want it under here though, on my chin. Greasy hands. <laughs> All right, let's wet my face a little without. There we go. Feels really slick and smooth right now. I'll try and get some of that excess off my hands because I don't want them sliding everywhere. Again guys, first for me, I've, I've maybe did a couple shavette shaves in the past and I used uh, this one right here, this Parker shavette. They actually had ready to go. I was actually going to do this one too, but um, and I will eventually, uh, but this one came in and uh, I like the design and I feel like I can hold it a little bit better in my hand. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did a little research on, on how to, you know, kind of shave with one, <laughs> one of these. Um, this might be a nightmare. <laughs> Lathering up the soap puck just straight from the puck shouldn't take much Yeah, you know, and this nothing wrong with this older Version of this soap You know my my even be a collector's item knows no, no. <laughs> um, I buy it several years ago and since then Phoenix has changed their formula, but smells really good I tell you you like that barbershop scent which I love barbershop that's probably one of my favorite scents it's just classic you know kind of reminds you of being old-timey old barbershop type where they do an actual shave haircut and shave kind of thing really good lather right there I'm a little nervous you don't want to cut myself up or cause serious irritation 
Uh, I got stuff though to combat that, so it's not. Uh, I'm not super worried about that. I'll put some more water in my sink. You know, but for ten dollars, I mean. Just inhaled, <laughs> inhaled some of this stuff. Here it goes, guys. Now I know that you're supposed to kind of, you know, get your skin and pull it here. So far, so good. Now you could get a little towel and uh, kind of wipe it off on there if you want. this side here. Trying to find the angle, I think, is the most challenging part for me. It's it's shaving, though. I mean, it's shaving really good. Um, don't really have irritation right now. You know, and you got to remember, it's a light touch, so... And I got about four days worth of growth on my face here, so, you know. I'm more comfortable shaving with my right hand than I am my left, guys. So if I'm doing something that's technically wrong, like in, in my technique, forgive me. Again, never used this before. So not too crazy about... these blades. Um... Maybe it's just me, uh, again. Again, never. Never shaved with one of these before, so it could be just me. Um, they feel like they're kind of pulling and tugging a little too much for my liking. myself right there little neck I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen here okay 
Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Again, that mustache area is still get, kind of getting used to. Still kind of getting used to the whole shaving again. Very light touch, guys. Just kind of let the razor drag and do its thing. Uh, again, uh, the blades feel a little more tuggy and pulley than I'm used to. Uh, that could be just, uh, it could be just how they are, or maybe it's just how it, maybe they're not really that great a blade. Not sure. Feels pretty rough. Not really enjoying the shave as much as I probably should be. Um, but again, that could be that could be my technique. Obviously, I'm gonna blame myself more than the actual razor. But we'll see. Good slickness on this soap, guys. It's kind of why I used a, uh, a reliable soap company to, uh, to get, I think I got myself here on the chin too. Now let's see if hopefully with the second pass, since I got most of the hair off, with that first one, I had I had good about four, almost four days I think, well, three and a half. So let's see if this See this is going to be a little bit better. So 
so far it's I mean it feels really smooth um, it does feel a little irritated though I can feel a little bit where I probably went a little too close or I got a little too A little too close for comfort, probably. I'm not going to try and push it too much on these areas here. I got the chin pretty good and yeah that's pretty good too you know for the most part oh I got myself right here somewhere whoo it's becoming a bloodbath. Yeah, got myself right here. I felt it too, so that's my fault, not the razors. Yeah, um, let's see, <laughs> I got myself good. Um, I actually, a few years ago, cut myself really good right here uh, with my Mercur, as a matter of fact. I mean, I sliced myself open pretty good, and I'll show you what you do for that. Again, that was me. That was just a slip of my my hand. I pushed a little too hard, and you know, my chin kind of goes up in a uh, you know, kind of has a rise to it right here. So it got caught, and then continued to go through. Very aggressive for me. I have very sensitive skin, so. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. I got a razor bump right here now, too. Ooh, I really got myself good on that chin. It's a bloodbath, guys. He's wearing the crimson mask. Those of you who uh, watch wrestling, 
know what that is. It's when the uh, wrestler blades themselves. They cut themselves with a razor. And so that's how they do it. You know, those of you that don't know, wrestling is not real, <laughs> by the way. But, yes, they cut themselves with a razor intentionally, not unintentionally like I did. And my little dog is barking. We got a new one. Now we have three dogs. And she's a sweet little Dotson puppy. Or she's not really a puppy. I think she's about a year old. And, uh, Somebody, they couldn't take care of her anymore, so they gave her toys. She's a sweet, sweet little doggy. But the other dogs aren't being mean to her. They just, I got that bump. I just cut it. I was trying to avoid it. All right, I think I'm done. Man, this is a bloodbath. <laughs> it's just trying to get a little closer. I actually didn't get that bad of a shave as far as the closeness. Uh, a little rough on the neck here, but I ain't going to push that one. Again, uh... I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these razors. I'm gonna use this Allen block or Allen block. I'm just gonna give a little bit of relief. It stings a little because it's. tightening the skin and the pores and that should hopefully leave you some of that that pain or that uh, irritation I had. You gotta be careful with these two. You don't want to drop them. And then there'd be a, a big nightmare shatter everywhere. Let me clean up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know if I'm a fan of those blades. And again, it could be the way I was... Uh, obviously, I know I was holding it uh, wrong, the angle wrong a few times. And I kind of thought about it while I was shaving. So I was thinking like, eh, you know, probably holding the angle wrong too, too steep sometimes. It should be more, you know, a little more flat laying. But let's go ahead and... Uh, Get this, I hate using this thing, but I got two today. Styptic pencil, wet a little. Just put it on the areas that, but it doesn't really sting right now. Probably because that alum block uh, really helped out a little bit. But this stuff, I mean, it works really good, man. It it stops the bleeding, but man, this it sting it stings like the Dickens. <laughs> so here we are in uh, November. I I know, guys, it's a uh, you know Movember, like you know the no shave November, but. Um, I'll look foolish if I didn't shave and you know, I'm not going to do that. So all I'm going to say is if you're a man, uh, go out, get tested, you know, don't be reactive to cancer, be proactive and make sure you get the proper tests at the proper ages, you know, to try and combat the, you know, uh, severity of, of men getting cancer, prostate cancers, things like that. 
you know, they, uh, the treat, maybe you catch it early enough, sometimes it's, it, it will obviously your chances of surviving go dramatically up, but that only comes with doing tests and doing routine tests. And yes, I've had a, I've had a uh, prostate exam before and I'm a young guy, but I had some issues uh, a while back and uh, they had checked that type of stuff. And I think I had uh, proctitis, which uh, I think I'm saying that right, which is an infection in my prostate. So, you know, they caught that, they're able to take care of it. And, uh, you know, I was better, all cleared up. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my face off just a little bit. Yes, guys, go go get checked. Go get your yearly checkups. You know, if you're at a certain age, get the exam. I know it's kind of a invasive <laughs> kind of thing. You know, my doctor did it. You know, I asked him if he was using the whole fist, and he just laughed. And I'm like, that's not an answer, doc. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to probably put some aftershave balm on too, but I mean, for my first time using that razor and I'm not good at using these style razors, obviously you could see I probably made a lot of mistakes and errors and that's okay. Maybe some of y'all can point those out to me. Like, hey, adjust your angle, try this approach, something constructive, okay, guys? I mean, you could you could bash me for being an idiot and be like, oh, why did you even bother on camera if you weren't ready? But, you know, I think it's important to highlight these kinds of things. Let me go ahead and uh, put some of this bad boy on here real quick because I know this is going to help with the, uh, with the overall healing process. That's weird. It really doesn't sting. I thought it was going to burn. I, I really did think it was going to burn. Uh, more than what it was. And it, it really didn't. Um, maybe a little here on the cheeks. And a little bit right here. But I think I had that angle really, you know, I had it like... You know, it's supposed to be flat, and I had it more an angle scraping rather than cutting. Um, that could be an issue, too, with, with my technique, and maybe it's not the blades, it's me. And I'm going to say it's me at this point. So I'll be, you know, give credit where credit is due. But it, like anything, like when I first started shaving with a D razor, a, a D safety razor, uh, man... I had the worst shave of my life because I was so used to cartridge razors and me not researching how to use one. I just took it to my face like I did a cartridge razor. And those of you that know, you're not supposed to apply pressure. And I applied the line. I got one of the worst shaves of my life. This isn't as bad as, you know, the, that first few shaves I had with a with a DE razor, and then I researched it and uh, was like, oh, I'm not supposed to apply pressure. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's use some uh, some extra healing stuff here. Uh, we're gonna use some of this because I feel I need it. So the pre-shave, I think it probably helped that first pass but um, after, I didn't really feel it anymore. So you shave it all off. Definitely need some healing. Oh, I got some of this too. I mean, I'm going to put on some of this here. This has witch hazel in it. Now, I don't think they sell this anymore, and it is. It's, it's really liquidy. 
Uh, my wife likes to use this, and it doesn't smell good either, but... It helps with the irritation. So like that bump I have under here, it's going to help with that. It's going to help take that out, take any irritation out. Always have a nice menthol too, you know. Unlike the Derby menthol that I didn't have, that had no menthol in it. <laughs> I mean, it worked. It was good. It just... You know, this has menthol in it. And that's awesome. And that bump stop, that bump stopper has menthol in it as well. Okay, let's go ahead and review. So as this video's gone on pretty long, I'm sure. And uh, I know most of y'all don't want to see an hour long video. The uh, Facon or Facon uh, razor here. I want to cut myself again um yeah uh that was me that's all me guys all the cuts and stuff and the any roughness i got was all me um i didn't get a bad shave though to be honest with you it uh still got a little bit right there where it's still kind of coming through but that's okay um not a completely bad shave. Uh, I was very surprised that the uh, the aftershave didn't burn my face as much. I thought I was going to get a much rougher shave. Um, I would like to try this again with a different blade. Uh, I think it's really me. These blades may be just fine, but it might just be me who is not very good with this and my technique probably really sucks so <laughs> you know hey i tried something new that's the important thing right and it was only ten dollars so if i don't like it or whatever it's not like i'm out hundreds of dollars for you know the feather blade that looks very much like this you know um and of course that one probably performs better than this one but essentially it did the job you know it uh it's not bad. Uh, the shave is, uh, yes, it was a little rougher, especially here on the neck, this part here, cutting myself there. But ultimately, um, it's it feels really smooth. And, and, of course, the products that I used helped a lot. Having good products such as this Phoenix CAD uh, really did help. And again, this is an older label, so it may look a little different because this is in a metal tin. Uh, I use this here. I don't even know if they have this anymore. It's kind of old, but um, this pre-shave gel, and it worked for that first pass, but after that, it was essentially already uh, off my face. But, you know, the second pass went a lot smoother than the first because uh, I got that initial hair off, so, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, the Razor Rock Synthetic, nice-looking... A razor rock brush you go on their site look that up and I use some of this uh, fine American blend and uh, then I use some of my Nivea too Nivea sensitive for men that helps a lot and then this here I don't think they have anymore they used to have it at Walmart and then it went on clearance I'm gonna buy a bunch of them I bought like all the all the ones they had because it was so cheap but it is instant razor rash relief if you can find this somewhere or something similar to it now this has uh, tea tree oil aloe vera and menthol so it, it really does help it smells like crap but um, you know you can put some aftershave or, or some aftershave balm or something that smells a little better afterwards but it, it really does help with uh, bumps and irritation see that's already going down it's already going down so it it really does help out a lot all right guys well that's the shave that was the blood bath shave and uh i hope you enjoyed that um i did it for y'all uh not so much for me because uh i cut myself several times and that's not uh very uh pleasurable but anyways uh it it wasn't uh a terrible shave it wasn't a great one but 
Um, I still got a decent shave out of it. My skin doesn't feel super irritated or anything. So that's a good thing. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the products I used. And you saw me use this, uh, this uh, alum or alum block. And uh, it, that really helped out a lot to, to uh, kind of tighten the pores up and, and help to condition that skin. So it, it's important that you see, if you see me using these things and you get a rough shave, these are ways to alleviate that rough shave, you know, um, to help you be more comfortable throughout the day and you don't have to worry so much about, uh, you know, having razor burn or, or being irritated when the, your collar of your, you know, shirt rubs it or something, it bothers you, you know, throughout the day. It's a constant reminder that, you know, hey, you screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well like i said uh if you like the video give me a big thumbs up um if uh you are willing to subscribe to the channel please hit that subscribe button and uh hey i'll see you on the next one take care